have never had a good time getting ready to go. It causes me way too much distraction. You know which way I'm going? No sunglasses. Good. Got these ones. Found these in the woods. Racer. Just a scrambled mess. I told myself, oh yeah, I'll leave in the morning. No. So now I'm pretty much hitting rush hour. I've already missed a turn. Greg sent me an access pin. He's got a spot that he's got some permission on. ETA, about midnight. We're just gonna do our best, take our time. Be careful, keep safe, be good, you know, because it's all we can do at this point. Probably call some buddies up and stuff like that, and then we'll see you when we make it down there. Hello. How are you coming along? 13 minutes. As long as I stay awake in the next 13 minutes, I should be good. Roll down the window, throw on some riser tunes and headbang. <laughs> I should be good to go. With as late as it is, we might as well get some decent sleep and then go in with a good game plan, fresh and ready to go. I'm all in on that. All right, well, 10 minutes now, so I'll see you here soon. Made it. What a ridiculous day. Oh, yeah, that's just life. It's just life. But hey, here we are. We're out hey, tomorrow. we're here. <laughs> I mean, it is tomorrow. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Let's just gear up and go. Even cooler than I thought right here. It's about right. <laughs> yeah, nobody's surprised. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is pretty organized. Bring this as well. Kind of like it. And this is another reason that you like having Colin around. Pro tip. Dude took this thread, heated a, ne a sewing needle, poked a hole in that thing, and then tied that thread with a loop. So you just take your loop and you wrap it around whatever you're... Uh-huh. And then you put it through there. And then it just is stuck on there. So like, you can't lose it. It's handy for people to lose stuff. Like me. <laughs> And just like that, the two hunters prepare their gear in a blink of an eye and hit the <laughs> <laughs> in a blink of an eye. The time lapse will say otherwise. <laughs> Is it possible we're actually ready to go? Release on. You got the camera gear, filters, game bags. I do got game bags. We're good till probably at least November. Let's go get them. <laughs> pick it apart, and there's no no point in rushing it. I don't want a booger, and that's the thing. I feel like if we can get back in there without booger and bucks, then we'll be in good shape for the next couple of days. Like, that's where I want to get to. That's where I think they're bedded right now. There's probably bucks bedded in our cedar trees that we can get on today, but there could very well be something mm -hmm. in between here and there. Yeah, maybe best if we're just chilling out, having fun. That's the plan. <laughs> Drainage is half that dark green vegetation. Looks like alfalfa. Been seeing deer and antelope feeding down in that. Yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like. Right here, feeding space. Feeding space. Not feeding space. Transition line. <laughs> Doesn't think they could just be anywhere like that. White tails. Miss them. There's one. Muley buck. Man, yep. Under that cedar right there. You can kind of see him in the shade. Ow, oh, oh, some deer been spotted. I think we can just barely crawl up to the sage right here and just maybe get a spotter up on him. If you want to slide up first, I'll just slide down. Yeah. Oh, didn't take long. No. The next question is, will he go book? Well, <laughs> about that. <laughs> That's what it's been like so far. Like they're just relatively easy to find, <laughs> which is nice. The biggest thing is not blowing them out, like you said. Just yeah. using terrain and right. being conscious of what you're about to spook. Yeah. I think that's the hardest part. Could be uh, my biggest muley buck laying under the next cedar tree. <laughs> <laughs> the pack hasn't gotten any lighter. No. Once we start drinking that water and eating that food. Yeah, that'll help. Oh, it'll feel good tomorrow to just 
run the M2. and it made on box they were just over into that next valley or basin or whatever you want to call it and i don't know if we're gonna have enough time or enough wind cover to do the stock tonight if we see something maybe if it's just, just the right situation but we're gonna camp just up over the hill on that highest point right there and in the morning we'll just be right there to glass down into all this country we'll be right in them it's gonna be so awesome it's already been so awesome you sure you didn't want to leave that on <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> you say it looks like? Yeah, looks like a pretty good one. Really? Yeah. Book, dude? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> same group duo that I stalked over here tall one and then there's a wide one we've got a tall one and we've also got a wide one here I'm gonna have a pretty great move on him probably tomorrow morning that, well, look at that <laughs> that's like he's nothing. primed and ready for the rut yeah if nothing else that's a hunk of meat yeah I'll be real curious to see where they bed tomorrow I don't know dude I think I'm going back to the truck <laughs> Yeah, that's right, I do have a dead one. I'm counting. Zoom in on this buck a little bit here. Oh yeah, that's that, that's the that's toe. The neck. Yeah, look at that thing. I like it. I like it a lot. Where do you want to camp? Yeah, I mean we just back off the hill right here and camp. I just kinda of found like a little bench, a little flat spot that worked out well. Yeah. Sweet man, that was fun. Yeah. That was I fun. Mean, it was hard, but it was very fun, and now that we're here, it's going to just be pure. Tomorrow will be much easier. Well, set up camp, have some supper, sleep a few hours, and come back out on this point and hopefully spot that. Oh, that thick neck. That thick neck. standing here like this for five minutes while Zach chugs his coffee. Actually, you chugged your coffee in about five seconds. Yeah. It's getting all the camera gear together that took a while. We're just gonna go about 400 yards back up to that point where we were last night and hopefully we lay eyes on Big Hank or saw some cows up on the ridge right there. Thought maybe that was him at first because his body's about the same size as those things, but turns out it's not. You haven't even spotted him yet? Oh, he's out there somewhere. <laughs> Gonna be a pretty morning. Man, that's freaking cool over there. Hey, it's a start. Yeah. Okay. Two of them together there. Get a uh, forky. What are you? Uh, yeah, I think he'd do. Yep. 
up on those side hills just in the sun browsing whatever brush that is just browsing in that same kind of stuff that's just right back in here hopefully they'll end up back in here yeah that's definitely a shooter there and just like that the hunt just is just like that Let's see where they end up. 3 of them. Look at that. 3 shooters. Really? 3 big ones. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> Man, that is a sight. See those things marching up through there. 4 of them. Goodness. That is awesome. This is about to get so sick. My heart rate just like shot through the roof. Look at that. That is incredible. Man, I'm looking at other bucks. I don't even know that I'm There's a it. string of four bucks. You see these mm -mm. four here? No, I don't. Oh yeah, now I do. Yeah, so those are a way different spot, yeah. Yeah. Marching right back up in here. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, it's just like that, all of a sudden, there they are, a bunch of bucks. I think that's that's kind of the thing about out here too. It's like all these little rolling fingers, next thing you know, they pop up, and it's just like, oh, we're all right. I mean, we're always all right, but now we're really all right. We'll just see where they end up. People be wild if they bedded up tight to some of these buttes, man. Yeah. Because then, yeah, maybe they will, but yeah, but because there's no, there's not going to be any shade. Like it's going to be a cool, cloudy day. They may just bed in a slightly different spot than they would now, normally. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we down with nervous, nervous excitement farts. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a group of older age class. There's that one that, on the left side that's big, wide, tall, yeah, split. Awesome. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> we'll hunt him. Did one of those bed down? He I mean, might have. Yeah, from my perspective, you're up a little bit higher, but one of those looks like it's bedded down. I think right he there. is. Yeah. To the truck. To the truck. I don't know, dude, it's too many deer. <laughs> to the truck. <laughs> but I got real nervous when we first saw them and they started coming over. <laughs> Four of them all together. It's a good group of deer. We've been glassing for the last couple hours. And I started off with some does and fawns and smaller bucks and all of a sudden it was like... Fawn come up? Four of them together. The winds are have not picked up. In fact, they've actually decreased throughout the morning, but they're supposed to get... It's supposed to be fairly breezy today. So we're going to need to wait for the winds to kick up and then also to give these guys a little while and see what they do, see if they end up rebedding. and most of the mealy bucks that I've been seeing bedded were you know, up under cedars in the shade, but today it's overcast, it's cool, it's gonna stay this way the whole day. So what we've been noticing between last night and this morning is that most of the deer are just gonna stand down lower and have been just bedding in open spots like these four are bedded in right now. Very different than the whole whitetail bug. But like obviously it works for them, how'd they get to be that old otherwise? Yeah. Like it's, yeah. it's weird. Oh yeah, rifle seasons yeah. in open country out here. Like I don't know, sometimes I think with mule deer, it's easy to be like, all oh, those things are done. But yeah. it's like, yeah, I don't know if he's done if he's lived through rifle and mm -hmm. all the yeah, they've lived pressure all over the years. Several rifle seasons. Yeah. yeah. The migration is on. That's cool. As soon as the sun popped, boom, up. What time is it right now? It's about 9.30. It's pretty weird how consistent 9.30 time frame uh -huh. seems to be. Yeah. Did the big boys disappear? Yeah, they all disappeared. If they stay in that drain, we could lose track of them for a good long while. Mm -hmm. One thing we can always do, too, is we could leapfrog. One guy yeah. could stay here and yeah, keep eyes. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. 
it does not feel like they could get away from our sight. And then if you get over there and can see them, I'll just zip over to you quick. Yeah, yeah. It's 1020 right now. As soon as the sun came out, those bucks got up. Every single deer, basically we were watching, got up and started to move around. The biggest bucks, we lost track of. They got down in a drain and it seemed like they were starting to move up. So what I'm gonna do is just back out, go around to another high point to where I can see down into the drain where we last saw them and hopefully get eyes on them. We don't think that they can go anywhere where they can completely get out of our sight where we can't relocate them, so. That's the good news. That is the good news. Watch for snakes. Well, I made the move over to this other high point. I can see Zach across the way there. Right now, I've only got a partial view down into that drainage where we last saw those bucks. I think what I might do next is back up a little bit, go to another high point off to my right, it would give me a slightly different angle down in there. That's a good spot for him because it is definitely tricky to look down into, class down into and see him. It's really fun to be backpacking back in here. We put a lot of work in yesterday, but then we didn't really have to do anything today. We pretty much just woke up and walked up here a couple hundred yards, and then we were right in the glassing game. But had we tried to walk all the way back to the truck and all the way back in here this morning, it would have been a lot of work. But if you're going to backpack, number one thing you should be thinking about is filtering water, because it's one thing that's easy to forget. It's a lot of fun, but you don't have water. You're not going to be feeling very good. About one o'clock right now. Zach and I have been doing a lot of sitting and a lot of glassing this morning. But one thing I do know is it's time to filter some water. Zach and I are running low. So I've got the Sawyer squeeze filter here. Honestly, water filtration is probably you know, one of the most important things, if not maybe the most important thing that you carry into the backcountry. Water is life. <laughs> some aquatic creatures in there, a little bit of moss, but overall it's clear, it's cold. Tastes great. Can't complain. Yeah. I'll go up there. You go get some to eat and then just holler. Well, I just found them. The big ones too. I need to back off or I'm gonna get winded. Just happened to look down in there under a tree and I was like, that looks like a deer lion there. Those three monsters. I think it's the three biggest bugs. This keeps getting wilder. I went back to camp quick to grab some food because I'm starving. But there's no time for hunger right now. We got them spotted. Just That's so, nuts. So classic. Down in that little ditch there, that one tree. I'm like, that looks weird. Three magnums laying right underneath the tree. Because I literally didn't even film them. I just like, yeah. fell on the ground basically and ran back the other way. My wind had to been cut in half. That's nuts. They had to have moved in there after I left because I checked all that. That tree right there, yeah. dude, I glassed that as I went by, 100%. That's crazy. When I came up the first time, I glassed it then, and then I glassed on my way to the water tank. They moved in in that hour time that we were gone, or that I was gone. There's a tiny little saddle right there. Maybe if we can just come around the backside of that and just peek up and probably gonna see antler tips. Yeah. A bunch of antlers. As long as the wind is good, yeah. like too, we might yeah. just be like about darn near ready to shoot him. Right on the ridge. Right the 
fall back down into that drain. I would assume they're going to feed their way through that and then end up where we've been seeing them out here. But I wonder if we can just Cutter. get out of, ahead of them. Yeah. They just bed down. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Did he really? Yep. Well, that's kind of cool. The far right one. Heck yeah, that's cool. <laughs> like you said, though, it might not be a bad idea to try to look and get in front of where we yeah. anticipate their movement to be. I mean, if the wind is shading like this anyways, like, it would probably just be best to get in front of them. And I agree. If we can stalk them, great, but if not, hopefully they just got to move into us. Yeah. First finger that goes down, and the second yep. finger, I believe he's right on that. I don't believe. Fetid face in this. Is that oh, sure, 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 sure. You see the one in the brush? Is that what you're talking I, about? I don't know. That big no, one in the brush. Don't see the big one, but I see a bigger one than that to the right. So this this <laughs> this patch of brush right here. I saw I saw him there. Oh, okay. Yeah, a couple of decent ones. Golly, this is getting wild. The brush buck is browsing so much, we could just drop down the hill and. Yeah. Get to that stock tank and cut in and cut ahead of him. Yeah. Oh, boy. Dude, this is so fun. Yeah, this is wild. I don't know. That one is on that face. Like, I don't know if there's, where can we go that he's not going to. I think it's a drop back. You talking about going around that one yeah, over there? That little saddle right here. Yeah, coming down through that. through there, he would. Yeah, I get low enough. enough terrain between I think he'd go, oh, there's that one small body of the brush and just stood up. You have my spotter if you want to get any additional footage. That's all right. We'll probably. Oh, we're going to have some footage from this hunt. <laughs> I've been rolling. Hopefully we have enough. I don't know. <laughs> Might need to roll a few more time lapses. <laughs> I mean, I wonder if we can just, how far, how far do we have to go before that one can't see us? Like, I wonder if we can just slide on our butts. That's, well, I was going to jokingly say roll like a log, but I, that's really what I meant. Slide. I mean, they're looking into the sun. Yeah. I mean, we might just be able to slide on our butts down and get there. down. He's looking away. I don't know. He's browsing. The other one is just staring back into the sun, right. bedded.
on somebody. It's like, take a picture before you go so you have something to reference. Well, we were so worried about what we could and could not get away with that we were just seeing what we could and could not get away with it either. Than, well, I was going to even ask you, like, let's play the footage back and see, like, I should have done that. It's just you know, silly mistakes. I mean, the good thing is he didn't get our wind or anything. Did you hammer a good one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Looks like, I mean, did you literally just get there today? Dude, hurry up. I'm running out of card space. <laughs> oh, good. Freeze warning tonight. <laughs> the winds are supposed to kick up around midnight, too. Wind chills are probably being, I don't know, upper teens, 20, something like that. I mean, yeah. Tent might be slapping you in the face a little bit. All right, we're wrapping it up. Our first full day here. Stalking mule deer. It was uh, it was start to finish. It was an exciting day. A little, little bit of disappointment at the end. I kind of made some mistakes and probably should have had an opportunity at that buck that we got close to, but there's always tomorrow. 
This is the end of this video. Zach thinks we have enough footage to make an episode out of it, so a little bit of a time. serious effort to put this together. Yeah. But anyways, Jake shot a giant butt tonight. Watch that video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, done with this one. Watch that. One. <laughs>